Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Cha. Hope all of you are doing well and painting more and more. Today I'm going to be doing a, a tabletop with you guys. Now, uh, let me show you the table um, first. This, uh, I've put it on the floor uh, because it's easier for me to work with. Now, this is a table that um, was a solid wood tray because I like to do these. I like to make um, a table out of a wood tray. And uh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful wood tray. It's a large size. It's about an 18 inch round. And I found this amazing carpenter who uh, did these uh, beautiful like tripod type of legs uh, for me. So um, if you see the backside of this table, it's beautiful. It's got some grooves. Um, it's a nice little detail. What I have done over here is I have taped off the edges, um, you know, with just a 3M tape. Uh, so that when I um, do a Dutch pour and a blowout, I don't get any, um, you know, uh, splatters on the sides and it remains clean because it's such a beautiful finish that I don't think I might uh, even paint this. Um, I might just leave it uh, with this wood finish. So what I have done here again is I've applied gesso, a layer of gesso on this. My base color is going to be white on this tabletop. Um, and then I have a requirement from a client to use um, a bunch of colors uh, that she has a company and a company logo. And she wants to use um, as much of those colors. And there are a lot of colors in her uh, logo. So I have pre-mixed those colors. What you see over here, um, they're mostly Liquitex Basics colors. Uh, with the exception of this, which is a De La Rooney um, uh, acrylic paint color. Um, and let me just go over the colors with you. I've pre-mixed them with the uh, Liquitex pouring medium, one-to-one -one ratio, and uh, I've thinned it down to the required consistency with some water. And um, the colors that I've chosen, I mean, chosen that matches uh, close to her labels, which she has... Uh, a lot of colors so what you see over here is nine colors uh, and white as the base the titanium white um, that makes it uh, ten uh, colors so they be uh, here we have the titanium white then we have um, the cadmium orange quickly I'll go through these uh, pyrrol red a very very bright red um, I wanted to give it a pop of um, a pink uh, color. So I've chosen this fluorescent pink rather than the deeper hues uh, because I felt these were all sort of a deeper color and I wanted to give it a little bit of a striking bright color. Uh, so that's a fluorescent pink. Uh, this is a deep violet. This one is, now these are blues, um, Prussian blue. Then it goes lighter um, with a brilliant blue. And then um, uh, a color that I really like, bright aqua green. And then it goes towards the green, so which is a uh, Othello green. Now, I'll always love to give a little bit of a metallic. So in this case, I'm going to go with the gold. Um, and um, I'll see the sequencing. I think the prominent colors I want on the top uh, are to be the blues. So I'm going to go with that towards the last. And I'm going to start off with maybe these colors, the orange, reds, and the pinks, um, because I've tried a few pores and I like the way uh, uh, these go with the white and the, the uh, you know, the, the way they blend and uh, the softness that comes when you use these colors. Um, so that's it. So um, that's my uh, blowtorch, my hairdryer, and I'm going to pour the white on the tabletop and let's get started. Okay.
look at that white one. Guys, let's take you in for a close-up. I just love this. It's just a medley of colors. Look at that. Love the pop of that pink and the red and the orange together. Let me see if I can avoid the glare and maybe come around. Look at that. A little bit of the cells. I like that the cells came out with the bright pink and the orange. What do you guys think? Oh, I can't wait for this to dry and maybe resin this really, really soon. It's gorgeous. Okay. I'll show you how this dries, make, make it part of this video. And for now, I'm gonna say bye and see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for being with me. Please like, please subscribe. Bye-bye.